Good afternoon, guys. I look a tad bit hideous. My apologies, but this vlog has to be done. I am going to my very first pole dancing class and I'm taking you guys along with me. Am I nervous? Yes. Can we do it? Yes. So I did a little procedure on my face. So you might see like some dark marks. Please, I'm so sorry. Ignore them. So I'm about to head out now. So I'll show you guys more when I'm at the studio and we'll try our best to do some filming. I'll try to take you guys along with and share the experience. So let's go. So we have Chanel here, who is a trainer at Ilani. Is Ilani Ariel? Ilani. So Chanel is a trainer here and she's also my friend. So Chanel, when did you start pole dancing and what tips do you have for beginners like myself, who is looking to do my first lesson today? Okay, I started pole dancing in Okay, nice. Okay, so there's a huge stigma attached to pole dancing. The moment you hear the word or the words pole dancing, you think stripper and you think sex. How do you deal with that stigma as someone who trains or someone who pole dances a lot? And how do you help others who want to try pole dancing but are a bit scared because of that stigma that is attached to it? For one, we have no issues with the people who do strippers. If it wasn't for strippers, you know, pole dancing wouldn't be their thing. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to make it known that everybody can pole dance. So if you look at European countries like Russia, children are pole dancing. If you look in the States, men are pole dancing. So one of the biggest things that I find that helps the stigma is the fact that so I do have um, some videos saved so when I say oh children can pull and oh men can pull I have videos you can go on Instagram um, one of the guys that I watch all the time is Dimitri Paltov he is a guy that does pole and you can watch some of the pole camps that do children's training and you can see that it's not just sexual it can take the form of what it's like calisthenics it can be really graceful you can have you have muslims that pole and they wear their hijabs they wear their tight pants because a big thing about when people associate with strippers is that they think that oh you do pole dancing you're gonna be naked no you have clothes that are made specifically for a pole that we call it sticky clothing so it's sticky tight you can buy um, gloves for your hand gloves for your feet sticky tights, sticky tops, and you can wear those and the Muslim women wear those types of clothing and they pull that. So um, the big thing about the stigma, it's really just ignorance. People don't know and as soon as, as, soon as I take my phone out and say, hey, pole dancing can look like this or pole dancing can look like that, it really makes them think, you know, oh, because we have many clients, we have many who come here and pole because they see the art form and that's what pole dancing is. It's an art form. The same way you have pole sports competition, the same way you have Olympics, Everything comes, it's beautiful, it's graceful. You have different levels, different categories. You come and you train for that, and then you move on. So, if you want to come and use your skills that you are learn here to go and work in a strip club, that's cool. <laughs> but you don't have to do that. You mm -hmm. could end up being a trainer. Mm -hmm. 
So that's how we find this thing. Okay, so pole dancing 101, guys. But tell the people more about Ilani, where Ilani is found, and how they can sign up, uh, the fees, and so forth. Yeah. All right. So we Ilani is a group of four. We are four owners: Gabriel, Chanel, Daniel, and Shani. L L L I. It's Ilani. Okay. That's how the name goes, and it's era because we at present we only offer pole dancing classes, but we will be offering pool classes and hammock classes soon, which are some other area apparatus. Um, so we came together June of this year. Um, we wanted our own space to train, but we also wanted to bring more things. To Jamaica, so there's no student in Jamaica that you can go to and train who there's no student in Jamaica that you can go to and train how often you see people doing it individually, but as a private one on one um, class versus a group class. So, we wanted to bring that. So, for people who would be interested in that but want to learn in a group setting, we are providing that for you guys. So, we decided to come together, we pool our resources, and we said, Hey, we're gonna do this. Through some months of planning, got the business registered, figured out what we're doing for marketing, figured out the business and finances, and then we opened on November 28th. Okay. Um, you can follow us um, on Instagram at elani.aral, that's E L L A N I dot A E R I A L. You will see the link to our website in the bio, but our website is also elaniaral.com. You can see the plans and pricing for each package because we have different type of packages because we also do flexibility classes. So you have flexibility packages, you have pole dancing packages, you have group packages, um, and also people prefer to the private classes, you have private packages as well. The different costs for the online for a single pole class so is
interview. How was your first class? Me stress. <laughs> But there's always tomorrow. Yeah, but we and tomorrow. All right, but right. yes, a little bit better than before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guys, we made it through the first class. Oh my God, my silk press is reversing, but it was rough. For a girl that goes to the gym regularly, this was a challenge for me. But can only get better, right? Can't get worse. So we'll try again.